So I take a minute to talk about the fourth gen Dodge Rams here. So when you're changing the uh, front brake hoses, there's actually a pair because of the way the suspension works. So you've got one hose that goes from the caliper onto a bracket and it goes steel line over to the pivot point and then you got a rubber line that goes up and it's on the back side of the frame rail right around here it's kind of hard to get to so you got to lift the vehicle up I took the uh, fender liner out and uh, so it's going to be I can't remember what size that is, it's easy to reach this is a 13 there's another 13 back here and then they switch it up and it's a 12 to get the uh, hard line out of here and it's a 13 for this uh, bracket bolt so there's a little hole in this bracket where your diff breather goes to which I think you can see it it's hanging out right here that's your diff breather so um, I tried all kinds of tools to try to pop the uh, clip off of here and these things are a pain in the ass I couldn't do it, I was just bending the bracket, so I had to take that bolt out and swing the line down. That seemed to be the best way to do it. And you can see I'm not dripping all over the place. So um, I used the vacuum tool and I sucked out the uh, brake reservoir. When I got this truck, it had a plastic bag and an antifreeze cap on here. But you can buy these fillers pretty cheap, so if you have a problem they must be problematic, but you can get them anywhere from uh, Dorman Help. So I, when I sucked that out, I sucked out the uh, ATF out of the power steering as well. I just got a little tool here that I use that for, and I cut off a, a line so I can probe around and reach into spots. I've never had any luck with that for like bleeding brakes, but it's great for sucking stuff out. That's really the uh, best thing for it. I kind of wish I had a bigger one for the jobs that I've been doing. I bought it for brake bleeding which didn't work out. Pressure bleeding is probably the way to go. So I th the other thing is that you can't get these lines wrong in the mounts. They're kind of hex on one side and round on the other so they're indexed. You can't get it in the wrong way so it's pretty easy to re replace this. Obviously you want the line within the arc of the wheel so your wheel doesn't saw through it. Um, so you shouldn't need to really modify anything. This is going to be a horrible job as vehicles get older. I guess this is a 2015 with about 300,000 miles on it. And it's seen winter but uh, the body is in pretty good shape. But I can see this being just absolute misery for people as uh, their vehicles get older. Um, when you've got the fender liner out, I really recommend you clean this area and then look inside of the uh, rockers. See if we can do that or not. But you can take a peek in there and see if your truck is junk or not really. Because that's uh, when your rockers are rotten out. Like I've got surface rust from wheel spray. But once uh, that the rockers are done, you're in for a, a pile of work. So I recommend taking out your liners every couple of years or so and cleaning this out. You can kind of reach it from the door opening, but not really. You can kind of get in there and see a bit, but to really blast it out, you got to take the liners out and uh, that creaking that pin on the top of the uh, door stop is ready to pop out of there. But uh, other than that, I did the, the brake job on the front and the back as part of a safety inspection. The reason I'm doing the lines is that um, this brake pad was half the thickness of the other side. So the garage did some poking around and they figured that uh, this line was collapsed. They had to loosen the bolt off to uh, collapse the brakes. So that's what they were thinking was the problem. And uh, you could see that everything had been kind of hot. It wasn't uh, working quite right on this side. So hopefully I pick up a, a little bit of mileage. And uh, while we're looking under here, 
with a liner out. So there's going to be like a dozen eight millimeter sheet metal screws to hold in the liner. Then I've got a little thing, I can't remember what it's called, that goes on there. It protects the vehicle a tiny little bit. I've got some homemade uh, bicycle carrier on the front of here. I gotta figure out whether that's gonna stay or not. You can get better ones that bolt in to the um, hit, not the hitch. It goes across from here to here in that space, but then it blocks a bunch of your uh, air passageway, so that's not ideal either. Anyway, we're kind of going off in another direction. There's a couple of big uh, electrical connectors in here under the uh, wheel covers. So it's super important that you take care of your uh, wheel liners, otherwise you're going to destroy your wiring. And you're going to be done. There's a big ground here. need to do the same thing on the other side to access the turbo actuator, which if you haven't gotten into that yet, you will eventually. That, this truck has a problem with that as well. But uh, with the uh, running boards, it's kind of hard to squeeze in here. I take the creeper, I go past the end of that arm, then I can scoot under and then scoot up. That's sort of uh, the way for me to get through there. And of course, it's a beautiful rainy day in late October. Perfect time to do this job. So I have better in the middle of summer, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, it's not a very fun job. It's kind of a slow technical thing. It just drives you crazy. So I haven't seen any videos about this and the double hoses. But uh, so I would like to get stainless braided lines for all of this. I guess there'd be four up front, then one for the axle, maybe two for the axle, and then two for the uh, rear calipers. There's quite a few hoses on here, and as these vehicles get old and the lines uh, bind up, it's going to be a problem. At least that line is easy, you can replace it. Little copper nickel dude. But uh, the one going up, it probably goes up to here. I assume that this is like the ABS or distribution block or something. So there's a line that goes there. You can probably pull the shroud off and change that. But I just imagine that it's going to be bad as the trucks get older. Anyway, thought I'd show you that. Thank you for watching.